Yo, what's up, guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to test the latest step forward in LHR unlock with Law Miner 1.47 that promises more Ethereum hash rate on LHR GPUs than any other miner. All right, let's take a look here. Law Miner 1.47. So the big update is that it takes LHR unlock from 74%, which is what all the miners were using. And I think a lot of us are probably using T-Rex miner, which was 74% unlock. And now on GDR6 cards, which is 3070 and below, we're at 77.2 to 78.2%. And on GDR6 X cards, which is like 3070 Ti and above, we're at 76 to 77%. Unlock, And you can see there's a couple other asterisks on this here for the 3060 V1 and the newer 3050 and 3080. You guys can read through that on your own time. I'll leave links to all that down in the description. But a couple other things I want to call out here. Two drivers I recommend for NVIDIA, both linked here. And that's what I'm running. We'll check performance on my GPUs in just a minute. Uh, and then there's two methods to the LHR tune. You can set a manual percent. So you can come in here and set like a 78.2% unlock for the LHR tune, and it will attempt to reach that or get as close as it can. Or you can leave it on auto, and it will auto-tune the GPUs to find a balance between the number of locks and recalibrations and speed. And that's what I'm using and have been using for about the last half hour of the mining. We'll take a look at my results in just a little bit. The fee has gone up. It's 1%. And because of that, if you're dual mining, the fee is now zero. If you're dual mining on Ton or Lithium. The other update here, just like many other miners that have come out, is you can now see GDR6X memory temperatures over in the miner. And I guess the one thing I forgot to mention is this is Linux only. This release is Linux only. They're still going to work on Windows, but it's going to take them a little bit of time. So um, I'll leave a link to this, like I said, and you guys can check it out on your own. Um, the one thing I will call out is you want to give it a little bit of time to calibrate in probably the first 10 minutes. And then it says it essentially is gonna to continue to learn and optimize your GPUs over a very long period of time. I thought what it might be fun to do is go back to the last time that I tested Law Miner's LHR unlocks on 3080 Ti's, which is what I'm using here. I was able to achieve, you can see in this video, a maximum of 85.17 mega hash. Uh, that was back on September 15th, 2021. Let's jump over to my Hive OS and see how we're doing right now. So you can see we are hitting on these 3080 Ti's. Some of them are doing really great, almost 92 mega hash on this 3080 Ti and others are above 90 or at least getting close to 90. And I can at least tell you from my experience with these GPUs, I'm getting anywhere from one to three mega hash more on these 3080 Ti's with the same exact overclocks, same lock core clock, no power limit set at all, which is what they recommend. No power limit because you don't want any... If you have power limits kicking in or you have thermal throttling kicking in, it's really going to affect uh, the performance. As well, if you're doing CPU mining at the same time, is really not tested. Or if you have a display plugged in to the rig. You should really avoid any of those to get the most stable performance out of your GPUs. From what I'm looking at, uh, I know the miner, even Hive OS with LHR stuff, is not the most accurate for software wattage because it does spike when it does its LHR unlock parameters. But just looking at where it's at, this is pretty much right in the ballpark of where I was at before, but I am getting one to three mega hash more depending on the GPU itself. So taking a look at the shell here, do you want to see those same numbers? It's really settled out now. I've been mining to go back about a little over half hour at this point, uh, and it's looking really good. And we'll see if this refreshes here and you can see the memory temperature is reported uh, over in the miner as well. So there you go. You can see memory temperatures with the hottest card at 104, which is kind of like sandwiched in the middle of a couple of GPUs. And then everything else is in 90s or close to 90s. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. It's looking really good. Really nice update. This is what I will absolutely be doing with these GPUs uh, that are mining Ethereum. I want to test some dual mining again because they were dual mining uh, Ethereum and Ton for quite a long time. But um, it looks really good, especially if you can get this tested on some of your regular GDR6 GPUs. I have a 3060 Ti, but that's that's pretty much the only GPU I think I have that's LHR um, of GDR6. So 
Still looking really good on 3080 Ti's. I think it's worth it. Love to know the results you're getting down in the comment section below. So please let me know. Um, but that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU modding content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram links are down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.